So I'm going to do a quick demo on how you can create a dynamic block for uh, track lighting that can be a little bit more useful, a little more customizable. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the block that I've created and what it can do, and then I'm going to go step by step how to create it. So I have a piece of track here, and I have one um, track light head on it. So now what I can do with this block is I can make it longer in two foot increments. So there's a two foot stretch and I automatically get two heads. I can go another two foot to six foot. I can go another two foot to eight foot and that gives me the four heads. So that gives me uh, the ability to create the, the lengths that I need as I'm planning and it also goes ahead and, and puts the heads on it as I stretch it. Now the other thing that I've done is I've added a flip action to this. So if I want to switch the heads to face this way, I can easily do that with the flip action. And I've added a rotate. So I can rotate the whole um, block and I can, I'm still able to customize the lengths based on those two foot increments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start by inserting my block and then I'm going to explode it and then I'm going to go through how to create it. So I've started with line work and I've started with a two foot stretch of track and the one track head. And I'm drawing it on layer zero. I always want to create my blocks on layer zero because then they will take on the characteristics of whatever layer you put them on. So my first step is to create a block. So I'm going to type in BL for block and I'm going to call this track lighting four. And I'm going to pick my point. I'm going to pick the midpoint of my track. I'm going to select my objects and select those and hit enter and OK. So now it's created a block just of the um, line work. Now we're going to go into the block editor and add the actions to make it dynamic. So I'm just going to double click on it. It's going to open my edit block definition. Click OK. And now I'm in block editor. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create the um, stretch uh, action. So I'm going to go into my parameter sets and I'm going to select a linear stretch. There we go. Um, so I'm going to pick my start point, which I'm going to pick my the midpoint of my track over here. And I'm going to pick my end point. So I'm going to pick my midpoint of my track on the right hand side and pull my distance down here. So now I've got a parameter and I've got an action, but I haven't assigned the action to any of the objects yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign um, actions assign uh, the action to the objects in here. So I'm going to right click on my action and select action selection set. I'm going to go to new selection set. So this is a stretch. So the first thing it's going to ask me to do is do the stretch window. So I'm going to do my crossing window here. And then it's asking me what objects I want to stretch. So I want to stretch these three lines here. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so let's start by testing our block, see what it does. So that just lets me stretch it. I'm going to close my block test block. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign increments that it can stretch in. So I'm going to do that by selecting my distance parameter, going into properties here. And I want to look for my value set. And my distance type right now is set to none. I want to switch that to increment. And my increments I'm going to go in are two feet. And I want to set a maximum distance of eight feet because by the time you get to eight feet, it's going to be a new um, fixture. So now I'm going to go ahead and test my block again. Okay, so it's locked me in at my increments. It's giving me up to eight feet. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to add in my um, the track lighting heads here. So I'm going to close my test block 
And in order to add those heads, what I want to do is I want to add an array. Now, I've already got this distance parameter as part of this um, stretch action. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go to my Actions tab, and I'm going to add an array to my distance. Now it's asking me to select my objects. What do I want to array? I want to array my triangle here. And my distance between my columns, I want to be two feet. Okay, so again, let's test our block. Okay, and you can see I'm getting my um, light fixture heads as I do my stretch. So that's working fine. I'm going to close my test block. I'm going to go ahead and save my block. I'm not done working yet, but I'm going to go ahead and save it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my flip. So I'm going to go back to my parameter sets and I'm going to add a flip set. There it is. And I want to flip it based on the midpoint of my track. So I'm going to go midpoint to midpoint and just put my label over here. And again, I have to assign it to um, the particular item. So I'm going to right click, go to Action Selection Set, and go to New Selection Set. I'm just going to select everything. So let's go ahead and test it. It's always useful to test them as you do new, um, if you do different steps to make sure it doesn't affect what you already did. So I'm going to stretch it. Okay, I still get my light heads, and now I can flip them. I can stretch it back, flip it. Okay, so it seems to be working. I'm going to close my test block. Now the last thing I need to do is I'm going to add a rotate action to uh, my block. So again, I want to make sure I'm in my parameter sets and I'm going to look for a rotation set. So I want my base point to be this uh, midpoint of the track here. And for my radius, I'm going to go just a little bit beyond um, the longest length that my track can be, just so it's easy to find. So I'm going to come out here 9 feet. And for my angle, I want it to be able to go 360 degrees. And again, now I've, I've set up this action, but I haven't assigned it to anything yet. So I'm going to right click on this action here and go to Action Selection Set, New Selection. So now I know I want it to rotate my line work. Oops, do that. Now the other thing I need for it to rotate is this distance parameter. Make sure I got this selected, looks like I do. Then I'm going to hit enter. All right, so let's test it and make sure it got everything. Zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so I can still do my stretch. Now I've got to rotate. Now let's see if my stretch still works. Seems to. Let's check our flip. It's doing what we want and still rotate. So it looks to be doing what I want it to do. So again, I'm going to close my test block and I'm going to hit save block and then I'm going to go to close block editor. So now I've got a block again that will stretch along a certain increment. It will automatically add the light heads. I can flip it to be pointing the other direction. I can use my rotate so that I can get it in the orientation I want. So hopefully that helps with uh, creating a dynamic block for an item such as track lighting.